So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and I'm very excited to show you today how Hydra, this is a water animal, how Hydra is hunting and catching little nematode worms. I was feeding the Hydra with those worms and I could see under the microscope how the tentacles of the Hydra catch the worm and how the Hydra then devours and eats up the worm. And uh, I want to talk uh, a little bit more about uh, those uh, fascinating uh, little animals. I got uh, the Hydra from a colleague who has uh, an aquarium at home and he said he has got so many of them uh, that uh, he simply wants to get rid of them but it's not so easy to get rid of Hydra because they have an, a remarkable ability to regenerate. If you cut off one of the tentacles well then it will grow a new one. And these are the worms uh, that I used uh, to feed the Hydra. These are so-called uh, vinegar eels and uh, they can be bought uh, as fish food uh, for little tiny uh, baby fry. And uh, I've uh, isolated the individual worms here uh, in a drop of water and uh, then I I've been feeding uh, those worms uh, to the Hydra. Now if you wonder a little bit about the beautiful rainbow colors that you're able to see sometimes in this video, this is because of the polarization setting of my microscope. I've been playing playing around with this a little bit. Uh, they look very beautiful, um, but they are quite aggressive hunters. And uh, you have to feed the Hydra every day, yeah, usually Daphnia, these are little water fleas um, or worms, um, and they need live food. And when you feed them enough, then they're able to reproduces at astounding rates. Now Hydra have been studied extensively by scientists because Hydra seem to be one of the few organisms that really do not die of old age. Because of their remarkable ability to regenerate, um, they will always, um, yeah, if you cut them in half, they will then form uh, two Hydra and here you can see, yeah, a typical form of asexual reproduction that you call budding, where you see that there is a new hydra growing out of the body um, of the mother of an organism. And after a few days, this new hydra will separate and it will be uh, independent then. Hydra also has the ability to reproduce sexually. So you see there is, uh, yeah, hydra is, is very um, quickly able um, to reproduce in an aquarium. Now here, uh, again, <laughs> it caught a, a little worm, um, but you might now see that the hydra has now withdrawn into a small bulb and the tentacles are also not very large anymore. Well, here it's extended again. Um, and when hydra is threatened and when there is danger, then it's able to retract. Now, what I found out, and that's a little bit of a, a tip or a hint, is, is um, those uh, worms I've uh, been growing in vinegar because they're called vinegar eels. And the problem is, is when I was feeding the hydra those worms, the hydra didn't quite like the vinegar. So um, as a matter of fact, I ended up killing some of the hydra because it was simply too acidic. So if you want to uh, do that, uh, I highly recommend that you remove the vinegar first before you feed the little worms uh, to the hydra. This hydra here has been struggling a little bit with a dust fiber or textile fiber that uh, got attached uh, to one of its tentacles. I've been watching this hydra now for uh, several minutes to half an hour maybe um, and it was really struggling with it um, and it was moving a little bit in an uncoordinated way. Um, yeah, and it also probably realized that it was not food otherwise it would have drawn the fiber uh, towards its mouth. Um, but nevertheless, uh, even this hydra was able uh, to catch uh, food and was able um, yeah, to yeah, now catch uh, this worm as we can see here. Um, what I would suggest is, is that uh, you um, also try to obtain a few of these hydra, but that's not so easy because uh, they um, have a very, very sticky foot uh, because they like to attach themselves to a surface and uh, this, uh, uh, and they're attached to a surface using a very sticky glue-like uh, substance. And uh, this uh, is uh, one of the reasons why it can be sometimes a little bit difficult to remove the hydra um, from the, let's say, the aquarium window where they're growing or from plant surfaces. I've also seen that uh, this sticky substance uh, at the foot um, of uh, the hydra is so sticky um, that uh, even some worms that accidentally touch this place uh, become attached uh, um, to this sticky uh, glue. But uh, this worm here, for example, was again able to break free. And that's an interesting way. Maybe that's also a way to catch uh, prey just
just to make sure that it's not able to leave uh, anymore. So here, this one is a very interesting one. Here you can actually see um, the cells, the stinging cells, um, how they've actually uh, shot out little strings and, and uh, these uh, strings uh, are able to transport poison to paralyze uh, the prey. And uh, this is also one of the reasons why when a worm um, touches uh, the tentacles of the hydra, it will very quickly stop moving because um, yeah, the poison that is released um, immediately paralyzes uh, the worm. Now this hydra over here did not draw the worm towards its mouth and you see that it has uh, formed this bulb-like structure and I think this is because um, you know, the food was simply a little bit too acidic and this was essentially a problem um, for the hydra. Well, at this point, I would like uh, to also advertise a new, yes, you heard correctly, a new uh, channel that I recently opened. And uh, I put a link uh, below. And in this channel, this new channel, I'm actually showing you a little bit on um, how I'm doing laboratory work and preparing specimens for microscopy. So um, I would like to invite you over if you're interested in a little bit of the behind the scenes um, look. Uh, beh um, and uh, this way I would also like to show you a little bit how you can do some basic uh, preparation work of microscope slides. I'll also show you a few other things. Yeah, link is below. Um, thank you for watching again. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.